What's up guys, it's Scares here, and today we got a couple new topics to talk about, because I'm the new newscaster, news host of YouTube, and uh, I talk about a lot of stuff, and I upload a shit ton, and I upload like a lot, every day, and I get a million views of video now for some reason, holy shit, why do I get so many views of video? What the fuck? I'm gonna tell you why Scarce is getting like so fucking popular and and so so many subs a day and so many fucking views of video. First of all, first and foremost, if you guys don't know who Scarce is, he's a news YouTuber. He reports on drama around the YouTube community. He also reports on like like cool shit that happens, but most of the time it's just drama. Probably just because there's been a shit ton of drama recently. Um, and I gotta say, guys, I love the YouTube drama. It's like it's my soap opera. This is what I watch when I'm fucking lonely. It's awesome. You know, but anyway, um, scares reports on all the YouTube happenings and whatnot. And there used to be another guy who did it, and we'll call him Keem Gnome. And Keem Gnome, he would he would report all the news and the drama and everything. I've made a couple videos on him before, and um, basically they were in competition with each other. And scares had less than a million subs a couple months ago, and he would only he would only get like half a million. Sometimes even 300,000 views a video, so he wasn't that big yet. And uh, Keem Gnome, we'll call him Keem for now. Keem was getting all the views, all the all the views, all the popularity and, and stuff. And people would watch his videos, but not watch him for him because he was generally, ge he still is generally hated by most of the people who watch his videos. The only reason people would watch his videos is for the news that he brought them. And uh, he would a lot of times misinterpret that to say, oh, hey, Keem, we love you. We watched your videos because of you. We subscribed to you because of you. No, it wasn't like that because I, I know I will subscribe to him. And I still am, and I, I still watch his videos from time to time. Um, but, yeah, it was never for him. It was for the news that he brought and the, and the information that he gave me. Um so, uh, anyway, apparently Keem has done a lot of stupid, fucked up shit, a lot of underhanded, uh, low life, uh, scum of the earth, stake in the grass type of shit to a lot of different YouTubers, and they all just started coming out at basically the same time as each other and just fucking telling on him, just telling all their subscribers, their entire fan bases about what kind of a fucked up person he is and what, and the type of shit that they, that they had to suffer from him. And, uh, this created a very huge backlash against Keem Gnome. And, uh, basically like all the subscribers w of all these different YouTubers went over to Keem's channel and started disliking his videos and started unsubbing from him. So he lost a lot of subscribers in a, a short amount of time like he was at 4.6 million subscribers and it literally brought him down to 4 million subscribers I don't I'm pretty sure he's at even less by now it's fucking crazy so he got a new host on and the host was named sky blue or some gay shit like that but um that guy was actually pretty cool and a lot of people actually liked him but just as people started liking the new host Keem was like oh I'm coming back so he comes back, no one fucking likes it, and then he made a response to all the hate, and he uh, he uh, he addressed every single thing that everyone was saying against him, and but basically he had no evidence to support that he didn't do these things, that he didn't say these type of things, and he didn't intend for any things to turn out the way that they did. So he was just playing the victim and acting like everyone is attacking him. Now I don't know for sure because I I, I could be wrong. I could not know what the hell I'm talking about, and Keemstar could be legitly 100% innocent. It's not my place. I have no clue what the fuck I'm talking about. But um, all these different YouTubers are saying these things on their own, so it wouldn't make sense for a bunch of random people to just start attacking one person out of nowhere, unless they have a secret agreement with each other to make a whole bunch of drama and to, you know, get a shit ton of views for each other. I mean, that would be pretty damn cool and pretty badass, but I would feel stupid for believing it. So I'm taking all this with a grain of salt because it could be fake. And that's the truth. This could be fake. Just like all the fucking pranks on YouTube, it could be fucking fake. There's no guarantee that we'll ever find out if it is fake or not. But um, while these people were unsubscribing from Keemstar, 
they went over to Scarce, his competition, and they started subscribing to him. And all these YouTubers, I guess, they were talking good about Scarce. And Keemstar was talking about, oh, oh, Scarce is getting more subscribers than me and shit. Like, so Scarce got a lot of publicity in this short amount of time. So now he's at 2.1 million subscribers, whereas he used to be at half a million subscribers. And he got there basically overnight. And he didn't really get the overnight. But what I'm trying to say is that he got there in a month or so, which is crazy to me. That's some Leafy style shit, man, because Leafy was growing that much a couple months ago. And um, I got to say, the quality of Leafy's videos, it's not the quality, actually. It's just like the enjoyment factor is just, it's not there anymore for me. He's not as funny as he used to be. He's careful to say shit that won't get him in trouble, which I understand if I was if if I had been through the shit that Leafy has been through in the past couple months with all the shit that he's gotten from everyone, then fuck yeah, I would I would definitely watch myself. But seriously, like it's just taking the enjoyment out of his videos. And I said in one of my previous videos that watching his videos are like a breath of fresh air. Well, they're not, not anymore because uh, he has become politically correct. You know, he's he's trying to be politically correct. And even though he says some fucked up shit from time to time, it's just not the same. And I can't really put my finger on it. All I can say is that I know he is definitely trying to be more careful with the things that he says. And um, like I said, I understand. But it's, it's just shitty. Anyway, now all the people who were subscribed to Keem and who were watching his videos, now they're all watching Scarce for just for the sake of getting the news and I bet they love Scarce too because Scarce is a pretty fucking awesome guy he just has a problem with saying obviously a lot and actually and uh you know shit like that he's stupid but um yeah that's about that's the whole story guys so hope you enjoyed the video this was a uh, I don't have that much energy in this video because I'm really fucking tired it's 4 a.m. and I just I wanted to talk about this because I mean I it's something to fucking talk about and it'll get me views, to be honest. It'll get me a couple views, maybe maybe two views. So let's shoot for uh, half a like. Yeah, that sounds that sounds achievable. So, if, guys, if we can get half a like, that would make my day. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, show your support on the video by leaving, a, a, leaving as least a like as you can. So that we can all get it up to 0.5 likes. Because that would be fucking awesome. And that would be... That's goals right there. Hash, hashtag goals. Goals hashtag. But yeah. Anyway guys. Peace out. Don't fuck yourselves. I, I said don't fuck yourselves. I didn't say go fuck yourselves. Don't misinterpret my words.